guys, it's Wyndham back for Video Wednesdays. And, um, anyway, we are here because I am taking a, pre a, a break. <laughs> taking a break from getting good and putting some other stuff out here for you guys to enjoy. And something that I am currently working on is doing artwork for the guys and today we're going to be starting on a project that i would just like to call aquanate and for you guys that were there during a lot of the live streams and and you know in in the chats you guys know the story of aquanate and so i've been talking with micah and that's what he decided we should do and so i decided to whip up a little drawing and i kind of wanted to show you guys the process of what happens whenever you do um, any type of like graphic imagery, what I tend to do as far as digital coloring. I'm still learning a lot. I did go to school for fine art and so I am learning, but I think it would be really cool uh, it's like to do one of each of us and you know then finish it and present it to the guys and like in poster form and see what they think. So anyway, it'll be cool to have you guys like on this journey with me so that way you can see what I do. So anyway, I whipped up this drawing earlier today, and it's over there. I could show you guys that I actually did it, but I'm so far away. Anyway, so um, I just simply took a picture of it. Um, I made sure that it was pretty well lit. My flash went off a little bit, but that's that's okay. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we going to crop this ish. Crop it. Crop it, crop it, crop it, and booyah. Okay, so then we're gonna kind of, maybe we can make them a bit bigger. Uh, eh, you know what, we're not gonna make it bigger, we're gonna zoom. So anyway, I basically just have, I think Photoshop CS6 is the version that I have. But anyway, here's a close-up version of Aquanate here, and you can see my mouse moving around. And, um, yeah, this is a style that I've been working on, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if anybody follows my Instagram, like, you see that I've done a few things like this. And I want to keep doing more of it. And something that I think would be really cool is eventually to have an Etsy store and for people to, like, ask me to make cartoon versions of them. I think it would be neat if I kind of really developed the style. So, anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it black and white because that's the best way to do things anyway we're gonna add a channel mixer layer make it monochrome we bring down our reds we bring up our greens we bring up our blues there we go and this is just to kind of um make all of your lines a lot darker this is to basically make it look like it's a digital drawing and you can kind of do this at any point and i like to bump up my contrast and it is going to make him a little bit washed out for now but notice you don't have any shadows like all over any of your of your screen So now what we're going to do is we're going to flatten him. Haha, -ha, okay. Okay. You usually always want to work with layers and you usually always want to have multiple layers of something in case you do something that you don't like. You can always get rid of that layer and then you have your original. You never really want to necessarily be working specifically on the original layer because that's, that's dangerous. Okay. So what I'm doing is on my background copy, I went into brightness contrast. Now, what's kind of annoying is it is bringing back some of my shadows down in my lower corners here that you can see. But look how clean it's making my lines look. It's making them look really bold. It's making them look really powerful. And that means it's going to be easier for us to work with them. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lasso tool. And get rid of all that, all the spotting. Get 
tell if that's on my, yeah, okay, that's just on my screen. <laughs> I was like, what is, there's just like a speck, and I wasn't sure if it was dirt or not. Okay, so now, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to go over here to inches, and I'm going to make this 17 by 11, which is kind of like a standard poster size. I want it to be white. Alright, so then what we're going to do here is this is going to be kind of like a top layer, but what we need to do is we need to isolate the lines so that way all we have to do is copy and paste it, the white will be gone, and it'll just simply be line art that we color underneath on here. Alright, so we have our background copy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to so we're going to stop being in our layers panel and we're going to go over here to our channels and we're basically going to drag our blue channel down, make a blue copy, okay? Go back up here to RGB and then we're going to edit and we're going to fill with white. Okay? Oh no, where to go? Okay. So then we go back to blue copy and that's fine, right? Yeah. So, anyway, okay, so I'm holding down the control key because I am on a PC. Click the blue copy. All right, so right now what it has highlighted is basically everything that you're not wanting. It Like, if I pasted this on top of a black layer, if I copied and pasted this on top of a black layer, it would look the same, but that's not what we're wanting. This is, like, highlighting all the whites here, and you can see that because the outside box right here is doing the little doo -doo 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 thing that means that it's working. So anyway, then we're gonna go to up here to select. We're gonna go to inverse. Okay. So what you end up having to do is because it's just line shapes, we're going to fill that with black, then copy it, then come over here. It's very, very big. So he was kinda big. So. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to like bump up his contrast again because he's kind of really light. So. There we go. Give him some nice solid line work. Okay. All right, so you guys saw me take the picture turn it from a picture that I obviously took with my camera into something that looks like I drew it on my computer. Um, you saw me add a channel mixer layer. Um, you saw me make it monochrome. You saw me bump up my red, drag down my green and my blue. Now those, you can kind of mix them up to what it does. I've noticed some people think there's a set number. I don't like there being a set number for that. I think that's stupid. So I just kind of mixed it up a little bit. Um, and that's how you basically get your line art converted, like if you scan it on your computer. And then you saw me paste it onto like the final piece, and this is what we're going to be working on. Now, this layer, I'm not going to keep this as layer one because sometimes it just gets really confusing if you don't rename it. So I'm going to call this one lines mofo cool there you have it this is part one of making aquanate and you saw me go from let me see a picture similar to this not this one you know you saw me crop it then from this and then this was the one that i used to get our final line art that we will be using and this is actually the size whenever I'm going to do any printing this is the size that I want it I want it 11 by 17 because I really like that poster size I think it's really neat so that's um yeah what I'm going to be working on here so anyway guys thanks for tuning in this is just you know part one of aquanate that's what that's what this will be is ca <laughs> casual things aquanate part one and anyway, uh, I'm going to keep going with these. And if you like them, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, let me know if you like it. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time.